Okay. Um, so we've been looking at um, Sipka's Blazing Orchard, and we upgraded his library to RC2 of .NET 5. So we, we got that updated. And last week, I was going to show an OpenID Connect using a Blazor application with CRUD, but I thought this might be better because we got this working today. So we implemented OIDC in the Blazing Orchard library here, and I have an example here. So we also created a, a recipe here. Oh, let me share my screen first. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, perfect. Okay, so we created a, a recipe for the Blazing Orchard that kind of puts a minimal viable product together. So we have like a home page, a, a blog, a counter about content search, and then we have like login and such. And then we also put all the parameters in for the OpenID Connect settings and that. So it's easy for someone to actually run the application and get Sipka's library working. So before you had to do this all by hand. So now you, it's all done through a recipe here. And I don't know if you're interested in seeing the recipe, what I did in the OpenID Connect or, or not, but it's no, just focus. We'll see if we have more time to okay. go in details. And so just to confirm, this is the client stuff that Sipka did, right? The orchard running okay. in so, Wasm. So here I created an, an or a Blazor OpenID Connect application, and then I also included the Blazing Orchard library here. And so you notice here in the configuration, I have an, I guess I can, so I can make this bigger. Please. Yeah. So here I have the Orchard server basically telling where that's located. And then all the OpenID Connect. So the authorization is pointing to the Orchard server, Orchard server. And then I have the client ID, and we're using Pixie, and, and then our default scopes here. And then our metadata address, or the location where the OpenID can get all the information configuration. We have the redirect URL, the post logout redirect URI, and also the response type, which is authorization code flow. So let's go ahead and run it. So you notice the server is running here. So we'll go ahead and run this here. OK, so now you can see that here's Sipsa's demo here with um, a home and there's a, a blog, a counter. And so you can do the counter stuff that he did, information, and then contact information and then search so th these aren't implemented first but what we do have now is we can log in through orchard core using openid connect so we have a login bu button up here we can go ahead and click that and we get redirected back to the server url and so we can go ahead and log in and click on ok then you notice we get the authorization for the code flow it says do you want to Grant authorization code flow access to your data. Scopes requested, open ID, profile, and API. And I can say, okay, yes. And then we're redirected back to the application. And then you can see here we're authenticated and it says hello sales and that. So, and then if you want, you can put a, some custom authentication pages that are guarded, whatever for you to do that. Or you can actually use the access token now to use the content ID APIs or even the GraphQL APIs if you want. And then if, if you want, you can just go ahead and we'll go ahead and log out. So we click the log out, we redirect it back to the server, and then we just say yes. And then we're back to our, our client application. So that's it. Thank you. And uh, so you use Sipka's application just for fun because that's well, more yeah. just than send out. Yeah, we I can show you the other application if you want so, to. So the other application being just a one. CRUD, it's a CRUD application. Yeah, yeah. one way you bend. That's okay. I mean, that's the same thing. But just to say that that works with any Blazor Wasm application. Right. So uh, yeah. So 
I did create um, OIDC Connect for with Orchard Core for Angular and React and also Vue.js and, and then Blazor. So I have all four applications working with the Orchard Core. I see samples. Yeah. So it would be interesting to, I'm sure you, I will, I hope I will ask you, do you have articles for these, like to repro that, to, to connect to Orchard Open ID? Um, yeah, I've, I got blog posts and I have videos on how to do that. Already set up online? Yep, yep it's online. Okay. Yep. So please share the links on the chat and uh, I'll try to forward that somewhere. Okay, sure. I, yeah. Or if you tweet, if you tweet, I can also retweet you uh, with the, the links to the articles to show that. Okay, yeah, I can do that. In the videos. Okay, great. That's awesome. Because I'm sure lots of people ask, okay, now. Yeah, I we, to, we I nice to update yeah. our documentation too, because there's a lot of things that are missing in the documentation, so we okay. can probably do that as well. Yeah, that would be great also, like uh, tutorials, guides to, to show how to right. connect yeah. that, to do that, the code flow, the okay. client flows and everything. That would be great. Awesome. Thanks a lot.